what's going on YouTube it's your boy you know the vibes man I appreciate you guys clicking on this video today and man you know I had to get into it I had to get into it the Chimera right now I'm gonna say it it's my favorite AR to use especially in multiplayer um, I use a little bit of Warzone as well and I'm enjoying it there as well um, but yeah in multiplayer right now this is definitely my favorite AR and I'm loving it um, I'm gonna give you guys my class setup and I hope you guys enjoy it um, crazy kill streaks. Um, got some of my personal best while I was running this gun. And I appreciate you guys for, you know, just supporting the channel and just rocking with your boy. So let's try to get a, a, a like goal, actually, for this video of 100 likes, man. Let's try to get that. And if you're new to the Vibe Fam, I just need you guys to go ahead and join the Vibe Family. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Join the Vibe Family, man. I appreciate you guys. And um, I'll catch you guys in the middle for the description. Peace. All right, if you reach this point of the video, you guys are the real G's and I appreciate you guys. So listen, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. If you haven't smashed that like button, I know sometimes you guys forget, so I just wanna remind you real quick, smash that like button, right? Go ahead and do that. Now, let's not waste any more time. First and foremost, I just wanna say, um, before we get into this Lodi, this is the best camo in the game. <laughs> I'm sorry, it just is. You know, this is such a beautiful camo. I love it so much. I love it so much. And I just love the way the Chimera is built, man. And, and, and you know, the Honey Badger is just, it's one of those beloved weapons, man. I can't, I can't lie. All right, so let's get into the muzzle. So what I'm rocking, as you guys see, no no sight, iron sights for this one. Um, the Polo Fire, definitely want to have that. And I have the Polo Fire S muzzle tuned for aim down sight and bullet velocity. All right, I'm running the Agent Grip and I have that which is gonna give us idle stability and hip fire accuracy, which is definitely something you need. I'm telling you, you put, put this age grip on, you're gonna see a difference. I got that tune for recoil stabilization and I have it for aim idle stability. Um, I'm also running the SA Phoenix, the 10 inch SA Phoenix, which is gonna give us range, velocity, accuracy, and recoil. And that's something that you want. Man. You want all of that. And I have a tune for recoil steadiness and aim down sight speed. All right, the stock, I'm running the Ravage 8. Ravage 8 is gonna give us crouch movement speed, sprint speed, and aim down sight speed. And I'm gonna have that tune for aim down sight and aim walking speed. For the Bruin, I love this Bruin flash grip because you know, of course, you wanna have that sprint to fire speed, you wanna have that aim down sight speed. You can always get the recoil back from the tuning, so I have that tune that recoil steadiness and sprint to fire speed. So that's the Lodi, man, that's the Lodi. Um, it definitely performs well. It, it's pretty much going to perform with SMG movement, but AR beams, right? So that's something you definitely want. And my secondary, I got the X13 Auto. Uh, and I, and I, only, I don't really use this as much, <clears throat> but I do use it when it comes to uh, like running out of ammo on my primary and different reasons like that. But I got the 50-round drum. I have the Cronin Lima 6 rare grip i have the cn30 suppressor and i have the xrk luke 9 barrel and the series 710 laser now i haven't tuned any of this because i'm realizing like when i was using it i didn't like the way it was feeling when i was tuning it and um uh, i used this need to pull it out and just drill something but i'm gonna I'm play around with the tuning a little bit but if you guys see some of the gameplay i had the pistol on but uh, i use flash grenade syntax and I want to talk about my perk package real quick. And I know some people are like, oh, why even get into it? A lot of people are dying from grenades and you need to run Bomb Squad. Bomb Squad is something that you must main in this game because it's, it's nade crazy. You got to main nades. You got to get it done with the nades, right? So you're going to main Bomb Squad. You got Scavenger so you can pick up ammo. Sometimes I still run out of ammo with Scavenger, but I would have no ammo. 
um, if I didn't have a scavenger, right? Um, cold blooded. I'm telling you, cold blooded is revamped. I thought cold blooded didn't work, man. It's revamped. It's definitely getting it done. Cold blooded is working now. Um, you're not gonna get shot by VTOLs, kill streaks, all that kind of BS that people usually have up. Um, you want to be able to move freely. Cold blooded is it. I'm telling you. And then I also run ghosts. When I felt, I felt like when the game first dropped, Ghost really wasn't working correctly, and now I feel like it is. People run past me all the time. Sometimes I might be streaking, I might post up in an area, and they'll run right past me, and that's because I didn't pop up on the radar. So definitely, uh, that's the whole loadout. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And of course, I'm rocking Daddy for obvious reasons. Them feet too damn loud. It's your boy. Catch you guys for the rest of the gameplay. Peace. Yeah, I got him, I got him, I got him. Motherfucker jumped out the map. Yeah, fucking okay, bugging out. Damn. Wanna help me and my friend complete the raid? I haven't even tried this shit, bro. What's going on, boy? How you feeling? 